Well, welcome back to Morning Coffee. I'm Keith Reynolds. As always, we have hot topics, and we are talking, we're going to be doing another hot topic. We have Robert Sinadel. After 50 years of as an, an artist, he is founded and recognized in films world, excuse me, in the film world as the subject in the Oscar contending documentary. But next guest, Robert Sinadel finally accepts among the artist establishment. Good morning, Robert. Good morning. So, you know, you were painting, you know, soap cans before Andy Warhol. What was taking so long to get recognized? Well, uh, a number of people have asked me that over the years, and uh, I have to tell them uh, the sad story that I picked the wrong, the wrong stoop. I picked Heinz, and I should have picked <laughs> Campbell's. But, um, I still stick by my choice because I know that uh, Heinz tomato soup is better than Campbell's. Okay. <laughs> so, I, I, I hope Campbell's is not one of your, um, your uh, sponsors. No, not yet. <laughs> so, this documentary is about your life. Uh, you know, it's being considered for an Oscar. You know, what is some of the things that, you know, um, that you've discovered after 50 years? So, you know, let me ask you this question. So what does the public learn about you and your work in the movie? Well, uh, they, they learn that I'm illegitimate as a, uh, as, as a person, uh, uh, as a uh, born out of wedlock, but they also learn that, the, uh, that, that I'm illegitimate in the art world because I don't follow the, uh, I don't play the game, let's say. I don't. I, I do not uh, paint for the marketplace. I paint what I believe, uh, what, what interests me, I believe, and what I think is important. Um, and I think that is something that interests uh, the viewers uh, once they see the scope of the subject matter that, that, that I deal with. Can you tell me what some of your favorite pieces are? Well, one of them, of course, is the uh, crucified Santa, which uh, was, um, you know, censored for years, uh, even by Saatchi and Saatchi and other galleries and so on. And finally, it got shown at the uh, Art Students League, where I, where I teach, right in a window on 57th Street. And it went around the world uh, the day after it was hung in the window. Uh, and it was the subject of, uh, you know, police having to protect the uh, area because the you know, various groups like the Catholic League uh, protested, mainly because they didn't really understand the painting. The painting clearly is, a, um, is on the side of religion and not on the side of commercialism. Okay. So, you know, you're a leading artist focusing on satire and social commentary in your work, you know, why is that important? Well, it's important uh, uh, for me as a painter of history, really. I mean, I, I, um, I uh, started my career off at a time when abstraction was just becoming the, the major thing. I mean, you had minimalism, you had all kinds of isms, that uh, art that really didn't deal with subject matter. Um, uh, it, and, and so my, uh, my training was, uh, you know, from uh, drawing and uh, painting and, uh, and, and my heroes were like uh, Bruegel and Bosch and Daumier 
Awesome. So, Robert, we've, we've, we've run out of time. I, I would love to have you come back on. Where can people, like, follow you, know, follow you or find you, um, some more on your story? Well, I, uh, the, the, to see the trailer of the film, you just go to artbastard.com. Uh, to see more of my work and uh, other things that I've done, you go to rsenadellagallery.com. And that's not Cinderella, that's Senadella. <laughs> uh, and uh, and uh, you, know, you see any, any number of things. Okay. okay, well, I want to thank you so much for coming on Morning Coffee and being a hot topic today. Okay, great. That was a very, uh, very uh, insightful question, Jeff. Uh, I liked it. All right, thank you, sir, and have a great day. For you yeah, listeners no. out there, please, uh, if you can go to the website that Robert, or excuse me, the information that Robert provided you and check him out. Um, we're going to be right back up, right back with morning coffee right after this commercial break. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to give a sub some sizzle, this is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. 